Hey everyone, hi, how are you? So look, all right, I wanna put a little warning on this reading. Um, and this is going to be like some, maybe some triggering things. I don't know exactly what's gonna pop up in the reading, but it may be a little triggering for some of you. So um, just kind of watch at your own risk because I'm going to be focusing on some energies that are of the evil eye nature. Um, so just like if you're in um, a space where like you've just dealt with like some heartbreak or like, you know, feeling um, frustrated, angry, um, it, hungry, hangry, whatever, um, make sure that you're like completely emotionally grounded and feeling like you're in a safe environment before going forward with this reading. Um, is whenever my clients order, my private clients order a evil eye uh, reading, um, even though they've actually ordered it and purchased it, I still say that at the beginning of each of my readings, whether it's the video um, uploads, the private video uploads, or the live video calls, I always make sure to say that again, because sometimes, you know, things may happen. Um, so even though like I'm going to make sure that the title of this video is going to have some sort of warning in it, uh, I still want to say that again here for you guys um, because the purpose of my readings is to um, to bring awareness, to bring clarity, um, you know, to um, help you to bring healing and love and to certainly never ever bring any harm to any soul. I don't want that kind of karma. So I'm putting this here now. I don't want you to get triggered. Um, now, if you get angry or upset by anything that I say here, please take a moment to ground and get calm uh, and you know pause and then come back um, if uh, you feel like you want to hear the rest of the message once you've kind of grounded and got centered. Um, so with that being said, hi, <laughs> I'm Winter and um, I have certain spiritual gifts and abilities um, that I, I was actually going to get into this whole spiel, but I'm not going to let myself start get start over talking. But anyways, I have certain gifts and abilities that I use as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. And I just really got very, very strongly that I needed to do this reading. Um, but, um, those of you who are wanting the galactic um, messages, it um, it will be um, probably the very next reading that I upload after this one, but it will definitely be sometime this weekend. Um, I just want you guys to know that when I connect with um, galactic beings, angels, um, or rather um, like archangels and galactic beings, those energies are very, very strong and can be draining for me. So I need to make sure that I'm like at optimal, like feeling optimal health, you know, like um, my energy level is high, I'm not hungry, I'm not thirsty, you know, um, and, and all of the things. Um, before I do something like that uh, type of reading for collective, um, even individual galactic readings, I ha if, um, if they're on my schedule, I make sure that I am all of those things before I start. So with that being said, um, also the free, the, the winner, the new winner of the free 15 minute reading has reached out to me. So the free 15 minute reading is claimed for this month but it's only a few more weeks and I'll be announcing a new winner. Okay, alrighty. Now, where in the world is my singing bowl? You, Oh, it's over yonder. Hold on just a moment, you guys, I'm so sorry. And one of the decks of cards that I was gonna use. Goodness gracious. Two of the decks of cards, I forgot about this one. Okay, you guys, I'm coming. I'm. So so sorry but like it just came on all of a sudden and it's like really early in the morning well it's early in the morning considering it's a Saturday I don't even think it's eight o'clock in the morning yet 
or maybe it is, I don't know. Um, but like I had just gotten up and I was drinking my coffee and I literally heard the words in my head, do an evil eye reading. And I was, sorry guys, trying to get up on top of all these blankets I have in my chair. Okay. Oh my gosh, the intro has been going on so long. Okay. So for those of you who are still listening to me, bless your sweet little souls. I love you. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and um, set some protection in place since we're going to be dealing with um, these energies. And um, visualize. And if you're unable to visualize a healing light full of unconditional love enveloping you, swirling around you, then just have a knowing that it's there. And know that when you breathe, you're going to breathe that light in. And then when you exhale, you're exhaling stale, stagnant, unwanted energy that goes out into the cosmos where it can no longer harm anyone. Make sure you set that intention that it cannot harm anyone. Okay. And then... You're going to ask your spirit guides, your angels, your archangels, um, the universe, source, God, um, Archangel Michael for protection, and just know that it's there. Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters of Light and Love, Ancestors of the Highest Good, Angelic Higher Light Beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this sacred space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to any and all souls that find their way here to this reading. I thank you for assisting me to connect with my higher self so that I may see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today for the individual souls that find their way here to this reading. I thank you for assisting me and being by my side as I accurately interpret the messages that you have here today. I thank you for using each and every one of the decks of cards before me that are used here today as tools to communicate, to bring clarity, insight, guidance, validation, confirmation, information, answers, wisdom and or knowledge that comes from love. May the messages received here today be of value and bring blessings to all involved. Thank you for the honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine, that are only of the greatest and highest good of all and to the harm of none, with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. I still got a bit of the sniffles, you guys, so hopefully that's not too annoying um, to listen to. Okay, so we'll do that one in one moment. I, I didn't have enough room on my desk to put all the cards, you guys, so um, I just put them up here. Uh, Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Hineal, Ascendant Masters of Light and Love, Ancestors of the Highest Good, Angelic Higher Light Beings, please come here, guide this reading, 
and show me clearly what I need to see. So um, for some of you, you are dealing with someone who is like, there's like, I'm hearing the word investigating. So it's not like there's like some, like someone, like an investigator or detective, but it's like someone here is investigating you or like researching you, looking you up, trying to get information. Now this is collective and I'm going to be connecting with different energies to take what resonates and leave what isn't or doesn't, but there is an X, you're dealing with an X um, romantic partner, X lover, um, maybe even like for some of you, it's an ex friend, but there's someone here that you're, um, what is it? A strained from you're, um, no longer, um, in one another's lives. And this person is sending you negative energy. I said that I was picking up investigating, right? I felt drawn that I needed to look at the bottom of the deck and we have um, collecting dirt on you. So you're trying to, someone here, um, it's like they're trying to find something uh, to, um, it, so what I'm actually getting is like, you may actually tell this person things about yourself and like they throw it up in your face later for some of you um it's like they they want to know like the the like your dirty little secrets or like they, whether you have any or not whatever like secrets you have or like things just like from your past or things that you've done they want to take that and throw it up in your face um or like they're trying to find things to like use against you is something that i'm getting show me clearly spirit what do you have for the viewer of this reading those that will click on this video spirit on YouTube spirit what messages do you have for those individuals that you will draw towards this reading shut up um an ex-hater oh it's an ex-hater an ex-hater will reach out and try to reconcile with you and then look haters are gang stalking you so you may actually be getting gang stalked all right or there is a um a hater here that is you know obsessed with you maybe even quite literally stalking you but this person here there's someone here from your past that wants to reach out and communicate with you wanting to try to, to reconcile differences but there's someone um that actually like you're dealing with an energetic vampire that is um trying to feed off of your confidence and maybe even drain you of your confidence um they low-key want to be like you there's a, a hater that may be gaslighting you too It's like you may have um, in the past confronted this person about something that you may have thought wasn't fair or like you wasn't you wasn't happy about and this person may make you feel foolish or stupid for feeling your feelings or bringing something up or, or even you know for confronting them in some form or fashion they are being punished for their wrongdoings so um, you may not even see this, but this person here is receiving. You're dealing with someone who is receiving karma. But some of you are dealing with anxiety and possibly quite literally you are feeling a bit paranoid. And it is because um, this person is, is literally like gaslighting you and literally trying to cause you to feel paranoia. But there is a, um, a, a friend here that has been fake since day one fake friends since the beginning since day one this person never was truly your friend and and i know that may hurt and it may feel um like um 
I don't know, like, it, it's like, regardless, it's like this pain. But I think for many of you watching, you always kind of knew that this person wasn't legit, but you hoped that they would be the real deal, that they would be a true friend. But it's like you, you just kind of always knew. But that's what I... They can feel your come up. So someone knows like you're destined for some success. Um, even if you don't like have anything right now, you don't have, um, um, you haven't had like, you've just maybe been stuck or maybe you are actually having like some, su some successes, but regardless, this person knows that you're destined for greatness. They know that you're destined for, um, reaching some goals or achievements that you're having or that you're aiming for, you're working towards. And um, and I feel like they're very jealous over that or it causes them to feel insecure within themselves. Plotting and scheming is part of their lifestyle and hobby. Some of you, you're dealing with someone who deliberately like posts things online um, that are geared towards you. And they're not saying it's you, but it's geared towards you and you probably, um, and this isn't for everyone, but you probably are already aware. You know, like you know somewhere inside, like you know like that little backhanded, like whatever it is that they said or like maybe even a backhanded compliment was towards you. Can I get one more card from this deck, Spirit? Look, you see um, here they can feel your come up and then they see your potential and are threatened by it. They see the potential that you have in you to become a great success. For some of you, this is your own family. Like ever since, cause spirit just showed me the six of cups in my mind's eye. So some, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but some of you, it's like you had this light that shone um, in you ever since you were little. And there were people that were subconsciously um, threatened by that even back then. They knew that you were, were special. They knew that there was something in you that was rare. They knew that this light, this, this soul that was within you was extremely rare. And they wanted to tarnish that made them feel icky, made them feel gross and they didn't like it. It's like someone asleep, in, you know, in a really, really dark room and then someone else comes in and just rips open the, the blinds um, or the shades or the curtains and all the light kind of just like uh, shines in on their face and they react, you know, and yell at you or scream at you to close the blinds or something. It's like, that's that type of energy that I'm picking up where they just want it to like, you know, dim your light because they didn't want to admit to themselves that they didn't have the same potential within them that you do. Something, look, see, look, toxic mentality. That's what I was picking up. They manifest dark and negative shit by keeping themselves in that dark, the dark room that spirit was showing me. And they may even try to like convince other people uh, of how amazing they are or try to convince people that they have this or they have that because they, but they really have nothing of true value to um, contribute the way that you do.
divine holy spirit so one of the things that um that may happen to you look they, the, the, this is the second time i've seen something about a copycat i actually seen it in the first deck when um when i took it out the bag so i i do feel like this person is trying to keep up with you they um they're either like actually copying you copying the things that you say the things that you wear um what you do they want to be just like you um but um but i just like so one of the things that that this may be causing you is like you could have like dizzy spells or like um get lightheaded maybe your vision gets blurry sometimes you could have like um ringing really high ringing in your ears um and uh um you know possibly even getting like nosebleeds or things like that that's coming from this negative energy because like you uh, you are an angel and you know like you are an earth angel and whether you realize this or not you most certainly are an earth angel and so you are very in tuned with these energies these negative energies you can pick them up and your body is like an antenna and it's able to like pick up negative energies so like you will um have like physical reactions to this so really paying attention to your body um even if you're all alone like your body will pick us up um, so there is definitely an ex um, for many of you and this ex partner or ex friend it's someone that you're that it's an ex it, all right so it's like this is someone that you're no longer in contact with um, this is like uh, like I said either an ex like romantic situation or an ex friend and this person here is praying for they they know that you're you're on the rise like they know that you're you're going to um have this comeback and they don't want to see you get on your feet they don't want to see you have any kind of money they want to see you with nothing at all and they're extremely threatened by the fact that you could actually have more money than them even if it's only like twenty dollars, like they don't want you to even have twenty dollars. They don't want you to even have like a dollar more than them, period. But they don't want you to have anything. <clears throat> Show me clearly, spirit. What I need to see for collective those souls that find their way here jupiter retrograde so look one of the things that again like i was talking about the money and this is um uh causing like problems because jupiter um jupiter retrograde this is like um problems making like important life changes um for your future that benefits like expansion abundance prosperity so like again like and it's crazy that this would come out after i literally just told you like they don't want you to have they don't want you to have any kind of abundance they don't want you to have enough they don't want you to have any kind of money they don't want you to get on your feet like they literally want you to have nothing and of course they're talking about you behind your back but your your spirit team sees it your spirit team knows that they are talking about you. So your spirit team, the, while they're talking behind your back, your spirit team got your back, right? And so um, there's something here that may happen in threes, like bad luck or something here that may happen like um, in threes, you know, like um, maybe loss of job, home, car, you know maybe not that significant but like that type of thing so just seen it so someone seek someone to perform or learn to do a hex breaking ritual so look hating on your successful life choices you're trying to turn your life around or like you're trying to make either you you're either trying to actually turn your life around and improve your your situation in some form or fashion or improve your life or like you're um 
you know, like, you know, trying to come out the gutter in some way, or you're just trying to aim at having a good life. And this person here is hating on the fact that you're making good choices in life or that you're starting to make good choices in life. So like doing, um, finding someone here to like actually do a, um, or perform a, a hex breaking ritual for you or teaching yourself how to do it. Um, also, you could just like out of nowhere um, lose your appetite. Um, and I told you, I was seeing something about energy vampire and here we have. Um, so this could be someone here who's constantly like needing emotional support from you or constantly needing this from you, you know, um, constantly wanting your attention for some of you. Some of you, you've got several different people. So yeah, root work and doing some or seeking um, someone to help you with a protection spell or if you already know, then just like really working on upping your protection. Hating on your spiritual psychic gifts. So some of you could actually be like um, spiritual, um, like you have some sort of spiritual career. I know that's not going to be for everyone, but I do feel like you could have like something that you do um, professionally that deals with spirituality in some form or fashion. Others of you are just very intuitive and you're working on your spiritual gifts or you have some sort of talent and and that could be like something some sort of creative talent or skill set that you have that doesn't have to be like a psychic gift but spiritual gift would be like you know something that's creative that connects you to source which would be like music art um you know anything that um that is like this god-given talent or ability that you have um you may find that you get frustrated um or like have some sort of like constantly doing something throughout the day constant little mishaps that cause you to feel frustrated or angry or like there's this sense of hostility that um that is welling up inside of you. All right, one more card from this deck, Spirit, please. You guys hear the crows? This one. Look, okay, so, all right, for, for some of you, you are a tarot card reader or you're doing something in like with regards to spirituality in this there is a business rival that is um hating they, they they see that you're coming up they see that you're becoming you're going to become something right you're going to help the world and if this person is into in the same line of business as you then they they're not ready for the type of success that you're coming for anyways or that you're going towards anyways because they for them to be jealous or see you as a rival shows that they're nowhere near ready to help other people so um others of you you um again like this is someone like in your line of work that you do or this is someone that just does not like the fact that you're on your grind that you're working you're hustling and you're um trying to accomplish something whether it's the in the same like business that you do the same company that you're at regardless this person cannot stand your grind and this definitely could be a feminine energy a feminine hater that's hating on you but your spirit team got your back I'm just gonna pull a couple of cards from here 
So you could be acting unfazed, unbothered by this. Like, could care less. What did I tell you about your light? Look, shine. Your light irritates their demons. Shut up when you talking to me. That right there is proof. And I'm telling you, confirmation that you have something within you, something rare and special. And this person here can't stand that. Or these people can't stand that. They want to dim it, put it out. Show me clearly. They have running. This person's running from responsibility. They could be um, uh, someone like with the family issues. I do feel like for many of you, this is something that's like um, to do with your family. This is like people ever since growing up, you had to deal with these these issues, you know, where people constantly trying to dim your light. Others of you, this is like an ex-spouse that um is is hating on you i'm going to clarify that running card because i'm not quite sure just yet what the spirit is trying to say with that running with regards to this particular message legal issues there okay so this could be causing you some sort of legal issues or this is someone who wants to like see you having legal issues but regardless this i do feel like this is kind of representing like the justice card so this is karma this person here is going to receive their karma um look this person here the, i told you they're looking you up they're look researching you, studying you, getting info. This person's watching you online, trying to figure out like what you're doing next. You could actually even be like in the public eye in some form or fashion, or you have something that you do, like some sort of um, side hustle or like um, some sort of talent or skill set or something that you're you're posting online or that you you know um, or just they're just trying to figure out if you have something here online but they are studying you um and and it's like they're they're wanting to cause you like this anxiety this paranoia but they're going to be the ones to suffer this they're the ones that are going to be attacked by the same demons that they are trying to that they're hoping or wishing upon you One more card from this deck, Spirit, please. See, look, looking you up, somebody sees you winning or it is researching you, looking up, looking you up. They want to see like how much money you've got. They want, they want to know like, um, like uh, they want to know how much money you got or see, you know, how um, extravagant your life is or lack thereof um, they are they're for for many of you like I really am feeling someone that is online that is has some sort of online business and this person's trying to keep up with you others of you this person here is researching you trying to keep tabs on you and um, very jealous of you making it big or jealous of you um getting rich or getting money in any way whatsoever or they just really don't want to see you winning um right here blacks look competition always trying to one up you and then look a co-worker is two-faced whether or not you're actually like um working uh with this person or like you're in the same line of business, but this person here, it's like they can't be trusted. This person here is constantly trying to one-up you in competition with you and um, sees you as competition, but you may not see yourself as competition. So take it as a um, compliment that this person here 
sees you as as um, such competition that they're threatened by you so using some black sage um, so yeah it um, especially if you're doing for for protection when you're doing astral projection or travel using um, Palo Santo look your closest friends hold grudges against you. This could be an earth sign as well. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or someone with um, uh, earth in their chart. But this is like, the, yeah, this is someone here who is um, in uh, competition with you that may have been a friend, or this is like, a, like an ex-friend or a frenemy type person for some of you. This person may act nice to your face, but like, or or maybe they acted nice to your face. This could even be like a sibling as well for some of you. Like maybe a sister, sister-in-law, brother-in-law. All right, Spirit, can you clarify this running card? I feel like this person here runs from responsibility. This person here, when they're confronted in any way whatsoever, they run. Spirit, can you clarify this running card? Can you clarify this running card? The hair font. Yeah, okay, so, um, they are, so, okay. They're running from spirit is one of the things that I'm uh, immediately picking up. They know better when when someone is on to them, when someone knows what what they're doing, when the jig is up, they will run. I don't understand why they're trying to run from God or run from spirit or, you know, run um, because they're, it's like you can run, but you can't hide, like that type of energy. Tell me more about this running card spirit. See the high priestess. Can you clarify the high priestess? This would be spirit. Can you clarify the high priestess spirit? The three of wands. The ace of swords on the bottom of the deck, they know better. And the eight of cups too, again, like this is like that running away. They don't they they won't stay and face the music they will run when confronted I feel like spirits telling you to let people run too. let them go also to like there, um, there's this inner knowing that you're destined for success. And so it's like there, um, uh, I'm getting this energy again of like trying to keep up with you. And the eight of wands. Can you clarify legal issues, Spirit? Mm -hmm. 
Um, some of you could have cancer in your chart or dealing with someone with cancer in their chart. Before I tell you what I'm thinking, I want to pull a card here to clarify the chariot. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone wants to see you. Okay, so <clears throat> this is like not for all of you, but I do feel like you may have gotten out of like some sort of legal issues that um, that this person um, is upset or angry about is what I'm getting. Um, Can you clarify the chariot and the king of cups, spirit? Can you clarify the chariot and the king of cups with this legal issue? See, yeah, nine of cups, this person here is wants to like see you in trouble. This could have something to do with like family family law a lawsuit someone here is saying that they're going to sue you saying that they want to sue you. I just heard defamation of character. This person here may be the one that is defamating your character. <laughs> Can you tell me more about this legal issue, Spirit? I don't feel like I got the full message from this legal issue. I'm seeing like defending yourself in court or like this person there's like accusing because I've gotten this I've got the seven of wands here so like accusing trying to accuse you of something someone I feel like someone wants to you like take you to court and like take your money or like they, they're telling people um, that you got out of something or that um, you got out of something or like you're, um, you should have gone, I don't know, you should have had to pay this or pay that or that you should, um, you should have, you should have had to or you should have to. Like, had to in the past or have to in the future. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. But like you're you're getting out of something or like scot free or like they're seeing you you're scot free or like nothing here, you know, 
nothing happens to you or something along those lines. Others of you, this person, I feel like someone here is speaking, like trying to give you a bad reputation. Can you clarify jackpot spirit? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, because like you're working really, really hard on um, something on your career or becoming something. Shh, 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 shh. Toby, you're working really, really hard um, and um, on like creating wealth and abundance for yourself or like you really want to be rich or you're just really wanting like to have um, something for yourself. And they're jealous of that. It's almost like I'm hearing this person say, things just always work out for this person. Whether you feel that way or not. How are they able to land on their feet? Look, and I say that in the Two of Pentacles is here. And that is kind of like trying to stay on your feet. Spirit, what does this um, jackpot in the Knight of Pentacles have to do with this hater? Oh, the Queen of Cups in the reverse because um, she's um, sad about it. Or he. This person here is, is um, very insecure. They, they don't have nothing in their cup. Uh, this person here wants you to have nothing. And they, they, um, the queen of cups in the reverse is needy, codependent. So this person may be codependent on someone else, a uh, codependent on a relationship and, and you're becoming in, uh, independent. You know, this person here, um, if they may even like um, criticize you or like they're critiquing your work, they're criticizing what you um, like you you're something here is happening for you. You're creating like some, you know, maybe some success or you're you know, having like this um, something here is turning in your favor because this jackpot kind of gives me like that wheel of fortune. And this person here is like criticizing your work or criticizing what you do. Criticizing how you're becoming, um, maybe some of you are going to be famous or becoming famous or like some, but whatever it is, something here is turning in your favor because of your hard work, because of your blood, sweat, and tears. And this person here is criticizing you. Putting you down. There's a lot of emotional immaturity here. But when they go low, you go high. Take a high road. This person here is hurt and insecure with them own, their own self. And so they don't want to see you reach this success. They feel badly about themselves. So it's like misery loves company. It's like spirit is saying like, um, what is it? Um, kill them with kindness, you know, show, but showing them love and compassion, even though like they are the way that they are. Maybe even doing like, some of you, this could be someone that is um, 
energetically like draining you so you may want to go um, get some energy work done by a trusted energy healer because there are some um, energy healers out there that seem amazing seem like really really amazing but um, but they're um, it's a show so make sure and like with tarot card readers and all spiritual people um, gurus things like that please make sure you use discernment make sure that um, that you completely 100% trust the person that you're dealing with because I don't want to tell you to like give you advice to go um, connect with someone you know and spend money on someone unless you've done your research on them and you've used your own discernment and intuition when getting services from someone because I don't never um, mention to you guys about going to get services from people. So make sure that, um, so I need to make sure to tell you that um, to, for being, um, to be a responsible tarot card reader, that if I'm telling you to, you know, you might want to purchase like some energy healing or do this or do that and make sure that you completely 100% trust the person that you're purchasing services from. But you can also just like watch those free, but even the, like the, when you're watching your tarot card readers um, on YouTube or you're watching the energy healers on YouTube and the free like energy work, make sure that you're using your discernment with those, all of those, you know, just because they're free doesn't mean anything. So making sure that you're using discernment with that and that you can feel you know what type of person they are but yeah I think I'm going to like leave this here and um, no so sorry thank you spirit I got this deck out to do some last-minute messages nope some uh, messages from your look true love will find you in the end so look spirits basically saying that, that love always wins in the end messages does the spirit teams of those that are still watching this reading what do you have to say it's okay to be different don't try so hard to fit in because you don't you don't you know that's like um me you know um i i just come on here and say what i say and have a good time with you guys and i don't try to be like anybody else so like so that's what i feel like spirit saying like it's okay for you to like be silly be playful you know you don't have to like fit in with the status quo like you have all these qualities to be a leader which is one of the reasons why there is evil eye energy on you why people want to like ruin your reputation or or like you know um get you in trouble you know they want to like you know they, they're they're trying to like control the direction of your life or force some sort of legal issues or like trying to say that they're going to sue you or whatever because like they don't want you to like be in this leadership pos position life isn't a sprint it's a long race and you're not just in it just to win so you so spirits like look you're not in any kind of race with anyone um I mean, you're, you, it, it's like a long race. So it's like everyone running together and it's like the, the race is going to last your lifetime. Then nobody's actually going to win this race. It's just about like, you know, uh, enjoying the journey, you know, enjoying this, the scenery and just having fun. Starting to feel drained, you guys. Um,
So like, um, someone's trying to like force. So I keep getting resist. There's like this resistance. They're they're trying to make like either um, they're being met with resistance with these legal issues. They're trying to force something or they keep trying to like force something and they're being told that they that they either they can't sue you or they can't get you in trouble or like they're trying to like, you know, um, maybe get you canceled in some form or fashion. Some of you, you could actually be in the legal industry or you're dealing with someone who's in the legal field. They want their, but regardless, they're trying to force something. Um, also, like making sure that you're not trying to use like, you know, short term things to um, numb any pain temporarily. But, uh, but this is what I have for you guys. And again, only take the messages that resonate. Leave what doesn't for the next person or the other person that's watching with you or right after you or right before you. Um, and if you would like your own personal private reading, please feel free to send me an email. My info will always be in the description box. And... Yeah, so um, the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.